what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel big dog brett thanks so much for tuning in uh obviously uh, georgia lost brock bowers uh last week against vandy we thought it was a low ankle sprain turns out it's a high ankle sprain apparently they've already done tightrope surgery on him and he is in the process of healing up and recovering and we wish him well so unless you've been under a rock you have uh missed that information because it's everywhere everybody's made a video so i gotta make one too so here we are uh you know we got a bye week this week i'm pretty sure he he had that tightrope surgery i mean happened saturday here we are monday they've already done the surgery didn't take them long for them to make the decision on that and I, you've already got people whining and crying and the sky is falling and i don't know why i don't know why this this is probably well let's see i can name at least let's see if i can do six see if i can name at least six players that have missed playing time this season because of an injury. So we'll go ahead and, th we'll go ahead and say Brock Bowers. Lad McConkey's been out because of injury. Uh, Marius Mims was out. Let's see who else. Um, Kendall Milton. Uh, Branson Robinson. There's five right there. And I, I probably think for a minute or two more and, and, and get another two. Let's see. At least one more. Uh, Somebody on the offensive line was was it, was it Xavier Trust that went out for something, or was it Tate Riley? One of those guys went out for a little while, came back. But the point is, is that as as a football player, you're going to have injuries. You're going to have injuries. And while yes, Brock Bowers was an absolute uh, staple to what we did on offense, um, I would encourage you guys to look at the rushing yards against Vandy. Georgia's very capable. Georgia, Georgia does not have to have Brock Bowers. Now, it would be nice to have Brock Bowers, but that's not the way Georgia operates. Georgia has, has since Kirby Smart arrived, and even under most years under Mark Rick, has not put all of their eggs in one basket when it comes down to a player help, helping carry a team. We're looking at Georgia brings in transfer wide receivers and Ra Ra Thomas and Dominic Lovett and those guys do fine. We've got Rosemary Jack Saint. We've got Arian Smith. Uh, we've got Oscar Delt. Dejon Edwards. Cash Jones. Uh, Lucky. Uh, can't remember his first name. Is it Lawless or Lawlin? Something. Lucky. Pierce Sperlin. Uh, uh, Andrew Paul. I mean, it, they're there is a plethora of talent on that Georgia offense. We're, we're not dedicated to one player. I mean, you can't say that Georgia would lose any any game because we lost one player. Look at last year. We lost George Pickens, and we won a national title. Look at the year before. We lost JT Daniels. We won a national title. Um, we've had multiple times during multiple seasons where multiple four- and five-star players go down and Georgia continues right along. Now, it never it's never good to lose players, but it's also going to happen. Every player, every team in the country that plays college football, regardless of whether it's, uh, what do you call it, uh, FAU or Georgia or Ohio State or Wyoming, it, it doesn't matter. You're going to lose players. you got to plug and play. This is where depth comes into play. This is where planning comes into play. And Georgia is going to find who Georgia is going to find the way to, to continue to win with or without Brock Bowers. Now, Brock Bowers, tightrope surgery, estimated time four to six weeks. That's a rough estimate. There has been many cases where they have been over this in three weeks. It just depends on how healing and recovery goes. I can assure you that Brock Bowers is going to get top notch, first rate medical health care this guy is a first round draft pick i can assure you they are going to get him fixed up quickly so you got a bye week this week so georgia's won six games 
six and zero. Six and zero. So we still got uh, Florida, Ole Miss, Missouri, and Georgia Tech. That's four games right there, plus the SEC championship game most likely. And you got to throw a bye week into there. So amongst all of that, you got a bye week this week, Florida next week, I think Ole Miss after that, or Missouri. I can't remember. I have to look at the schedule. So that's three weeks right there. So then you have two games left, whether it's Missouri, or I think it's Missouri, and then Georgia Tech. He'll likely play in one of those games. He'll likely play in the Georgia Tech game for sure. Uh, if we play an SEC championship game, which I don't really see how we won't, we'll, we'll knock that up. Um, you know, it's very likely that Georgia will have to beat Missouri to clinch the East, but is what it is. You know, Brock Bowers most likely, if he's, if we play in the SEC championship, most likely Brock Bowers will play there. I hate it for him because I, obviously I don't want to see a player get injured, but I also know how much of a competitor that guy is, and he wants he wants to compete. He always wants to compete. That's why you saw him punch the ground whenever he felt that injury. He knew. He walked off the field. So while the injury was not great, it is something to hurt, help get him back on the field as quickly as possible. I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, coming up this week is the bye week. So Georgia's got plenty of time to practice and prepare for Florida. Uh, I'm sure they will be working in. Oscar dealt primarily into what they had in the Brock Bowers role. And I don't know if you guys watched him in the game, but he seemed to do just fine after Brock Bowers went out. Georgia still seemed to move the ball just fine. Um, except for some unbelievable drop passes we have. Ugh, I'm sure they'll get that fixed. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Brock Bowers is not out for the season unless he wants to be. Um, I don't see him, uh, for lack of a better way of saying it, pulling a George Pickens um, where he just comes in and plays one or two games here and there. I don't I don't see that happening for him. Um, I, I see him coming back uh, either the second to last game or last game of the season. I'm sure we'll see him play. If we play in the SEC championship game, I'm sure he'll be there. If we play in a, round, uh, in a playoff game, I'm sure he'll be there. And if we play in a national title, I'm sure he'll be there. So, yeah, we're six games into the season. Um, but I, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, Brock Bauer is going to be back by the end of the season for sure. I mean, just if you just do the math, he'll be back. Because you've got six more games to play. If the surgery can heal him up in as little as three weeks, and then he comes back in the fourth, you'll see him in three more games. That's what you'll see. Um, I hate it for him because I really would like to have seen him go over a thousand yards passing. If we play for a national title, he might, but you know that's that's yet to be seen. That's too far out for the crystal ball to give me a clear enough picture on that. But that having been said, you know, best of luck to Brock Bowers. I'm sure he'll heal up fine. I'm sure he'll be back. Uh, to you Georgia fans out there who are super worried about losing Brock Bowers, don't be. Um, we love Brock Bowers. We want him to be healthy. I mean, he's, he's a great player. He's a great human being. Uh, we want to see him come back. But I'm not going to – I'm not ready to throw the whole season away because Brock Bowers is is uh, not uh, in action. So we'll see what happens. I, I'm sure we'll be just fine. Well, that's it for me, guys. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on what you think about Brock Bowers going down. Uh, we all want him to get better, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll see you guys real soon. Have a great day. God bless. Go dogs.